along here to help shine a light on our favorite Christmas cards is the man, the myth, the legend, Ken yes! Wingard. I save it for special <laughs> occasions, Ken. I get a little sad when you don't say it. It hurts. It hurts. Well, it's always the truth. Sad. I just don't always say it. There you go. There you go. These are fantastic, though. What you got going on here? Thank you. Thank you. You know, I, I'm sort of on this mission to figure out what to do with Christmas cards. Yeah, I know you are. You know, um, I made the thing last week. The, the card, card holder. holder. Yes. Um, but then I decided there are certain cards that are even so special, you really want to highlight them. Um, Which is what you've done today, and I know I know recently you visited the Hallmark headquarters in Kansas City, right, where you got a little behind-the-scenes look at, at a lot of the different uh, cards that are made there, including this line, Paper Wonder, where that was one of the many lines that you saw. Yeah, I had, so we went back, uh, Marie and I went back to Kansas City. We were there last year, and yeah. it was really just as magical as the first time I went. Um, we saw... This paper wonder line, Daniel Miraz is one of the designers and he worked with me. Um, Hallmark has really been in the paper industry for over 100 years. They make some truly remarkable cards. But this new line of paper wonder cards are really next level beautiful. The idea behind the cards is to create a story in the round um, with different components all come together to tell a story. Uh, it's not just holiday cards, it's really cards throughout different seasons um, and different events. But I really love these, these Christmas ones. They were yeah. really beautiful. Because you know, like I love a 3D diorama kind of thing and that's exactly what these are. There's really theater important. in the round and now we have cards, cards in, in the, the round. round. I mean, it tells a full story. Right. You get that dimension of course like but when you when you get them they're like this this yeah. is the package and they really come to life when you open them up that's what i mean that's so like that. you don't want to then put this like folded in a Christmas card holder. Right, as nice it. as your card holder was right. for certain it cards. Won't do justice. You got, you got to elevate how you display these cards. Exactly. So what did you come up with? So it came up with something that was very simple. It's a good craft for someone who who's not used to woodworking. Okay. Um, what you're going to need is a pillar candle holder. You're going to need three blocks of wood, um, two that are smaller and one that's larger. And this is going to be just a little, it's going to be the height of the card. Okay. And these so will be the width of the card. You can get these pre-cut at your hardware store. So this is something you can get a pre-cut and then you don't need any exactly hammers right. or nails or any tools. Simple after. cuts, very exactly. easy. Exactly. Okay, very good. Does it matter how thick it is? Not really. I no, guess, I right? used I use one inch, but you could use whatever, whatever you have laying around. All right, well, uh, let's start putting it together. Yeah, so what, what I did next was added a hole and I did that earlier. What you do is you get your long piece, which is the top, draw a line so you know where the back of that's going to be. Then the easy way to find the center, just go corner to corner. That will give you your center point. Now what you want to do, if you're doing this yourself, clamp it down and you want to get a, a whole bit, a whole bit that's going to give you a whole the size of your light that you're going to use. Um, once you do that, you're just going to attach them all and put them together. Okay, and you did that using hot glue, am I, I right? I used that using hot glue because you have to remember, for this, it's only holding the weight of paper. Right, it's so exactly right. You don't need to use wood glue, you don't need to use nails, you don't need to use screws. You can, obviously. If you want to. But feel completely free. But as free. far as support, you don't need to. Exactly. So let's do this. So I so will man the hot glue, here, glue gun, obviously. I know I, it's not a nail gun, but. I mean, um, I'll give, take it. Give me a little bit of glue yeah, on the front go. here. Get a little hot and glue across the strip here. What I do to sort of hold in the, the what's going to be the light is add another little piece right to top, which will sort of make it look all very custom. Yes, it will. And lovely. Now, remember I drilled the hole here on yeah. the bottom. And you but said that's where the light goes. That is where these are pucks. These are puck lights, and I just made sure that that diameter was the same. You get these at any hardware. That's store. right, okay. I got the remote control <clears throat> ones, and I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, um, more hardware Next, get your, um, your pillar holder. It's gonna have a well. You just wanna center this over the well, the hole in your pillar holder, so you can see that there. Okay. So that's all lined up. And then to make the fancy little piece on top that looks all connected, Yeah. All that is is here is a here you go is a wood um, finial for a curtain rod. And you're just going to take out the take uh, out the screw, which you just do with a quick little twist there. More hot glue, right I'm guessing. Top. Line that up with your candlestick. I'm well. glad I was right with that and guess. Well, it's like you ruined it. <laughs> exactly. I'm glad I was correct. So that was it. Look at that. Yeah. Now, what you do want to do to really tie this together is you want to paint it all the same color. I chose white just because I really wanted to okay. sort of have us focus on the beauty of the card. Yeah, of course. And it, it ties is. it all. I mean, obviously, depending on the color of the card and things like that. You right. You can do red. You can keep you it in natural wood. Absolutely. And so I've got my lovely. Should we put the light in first? Oh, yeah. Put the light in. So that yeah. drops right in. Okay. Now, this is where the remote control comes in because if it was a switch, you'd have to take out the card. You slide the card in Look right how perfectly on top. This fits I'm in. going to hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm move waiting. It over I'm here. Waiting. You have the remote control. I do. See I do. I give you all the power. Well, I'm telling you right now. See, listen, I appreciate all that. Right. You can. There we go. One, we go. two, three. <sighs> 
Hey, voila. And look how They're good all that open looks. on the bottom. So it really, the artist, the way they've designed these cars, it really comes alive. It looks great here, but at night, we have a night shot Let's of it. Let's take a look at it, it actually. Night. Look that is how fantastic. I... I mean, a card of this beauty deserves to be displayed at you know at this level. So the well wonder done. that comes from the use of paper. Yeah, there you Get go. that paper wonder. Yeah, wonder I guess you, I got you oh, bringing sorry. it all sorry. back <laughs> together. The paper wonder cards are actually, by the way, making their big screen debut in Hallmark's Christmas at Graceland. So let's oh, take a look right. at that. Yeah, they love are. that. Let's take a look. A guitar? Who's yeah. it for, mommy? Actually, it's for you. For me? Let's see. Dear Emma. Ten years ago, your mom left us behind. Maybe she'll even play you a song. This is better than cookies. Right. It's better than cookies. It's better it's than, than better cookies. cookies. Thank you for this. This is, I mean, you just keep on raising that bar, Ken. You've got to keep the title up, you know. Full <laughs> instructions, that's right. The man, the, the myth, the legend. legend. Uh, for this DIY, go to our website. They'll be all there. And you can also go to your local Gold Crown store and Hallmark.com for Hallmark's beautiful new line of paper wonder cards. Check them out there.